Hi, this is Kev from Spiderweb Press. Uh, in this video, we're going to start working with the layout of the, the thing that we've been working on creating so far. So, I'm going to be predominantly focusing on controlling the layout of, of this section down here, and we're going to start working on formatting this section. So, as you might have guessed, I'm building this theme to display videos, the videos that you're watching right now. So, what I want to do is I want to set up a multi column layout down here for the videos. I'm going to shrink this sidebar to make up more space and I'm going to expand the overall width of the theme. So heading over to the website weaver. Now you can see here you have a width readout. This shows you the width of the actual site area. So the terminology that's used in the website weaver is your site area is the, the part of your site that actually contains content and the full screen area is the rest of the space. So in this this example, this here where you see the content, that's your site area. But then the edges, the the space down either side, that's the full screen area. So that will help you make sense of um, the different width parameters that you get, and also uh, the difference between a full screen background and a site background. Uh, so now this window is a little shrunk just because I'm filming this uh, this video at a size that's going to work well for YouTube but you'll normally you'll have quite a bit of extra space on your screen for editing so don't worry about the fact that that's obscured it usually won't be so I'm just going to add an extra 100 pixels of width onto the theme just by dragging so you can you can actually set your themes to be any width just by grabbing the side here and dragging so it was a 960 wide theme and I'm going to take it up to 1060. So I'll save that and update the theme. And now you'll see that the area of the, the content, so the site width, has expanded. So we've got more space to actually display content in this theme. And the next thing I'm going to do is I want to shrink this sidebar down because I, I want to have a fair bit of space here to allow for the post columns. So I'm going to shrink this down to say, let's go with, go with 180. So I'll save that and update. And so now you can see the changes are reflected here. So we've got a skinny little sidebar and a nice big area of space to use for posts. And now the next thing I'm going to do is split this into a multiple column layout. So going down to the content area settings, we are going to go to the post settings right now you have just the default single column I'm going to change that to 3 and save and so you can see now the the preview area has updated to show you the the three column layout and now I'll update the theme so now these articles will start to arrange themselves into a three column format so there's our three columns. Now the cool thing with uh, the AAA starter theme is that it makes use of a a really cool little script called uh, jQuery Masonry. So what jQuery Masonry will do is, as the name suggests, it'll it'll piece all of your articles together so that they they tile together. It doesn't matter that the uh, these articles have different heights. It doesn't matter what you have. If you have a multi-column layout, Masonry will just piece everything together nicely for you so you have a, a good layout. And now the next thing that I'm going to do is to start changing up the colouring in the uh, post titles. So we've got a, a blue that's been picked out and used in the header. So I'm just going to find the colour code for that. There's the blue that we want to use. So that is the color code for that blue. Let's close that up again. 
So I want that blue to apply to these these headers. So opening up the content area settings. I'm going to go into the post settings and instead of the uh, the default blue green, I'm going to replace that color with the darker blue. So I'll save that. So now you can see in the in the preview we've got the the darker blue. And we're also I am going to take a look, going to do a little experimentation, which you can do during uh, due to the the preview function. I'm going to see what it looks like when we have the post heading bold instead of normal weight. I'll take a look and see if I like it. But you know what? I think I like it with a regular weight, so I'm just going to go back and and change that. But because we're only working in preview mode, that little test never has to actually be seen on the front end. So you can try things out, see if you like them, and if you don't, then you can revert back to how how you had things before. So I'm just going to update the theme with those changes. So we're going to go from this blue-green to the darker blue. And now the next thing I want to do is make these a little bit smaller so that I can fit some more wording into this section. So post and text link settings and I'm going to drop that to say let's try we'll try 26. And that's nice. So we've still got a nice smooth looking font but we're going to be able to fit more words into the title. Now the next thing that I want to do is I also want to update these link colors in the sidebar so that they match this blue and also the link colors in your block quote style. So back to the content area settings. This time we're looking in the sidebar settings. So you've got the sidebar settings start here. Sidebar text and link settings and here I'm going to change that color. So that's that part taken care of. And now we also want to do the same thing for the block quote style. Save that. And now you can see that the colouring is all starting to blend together nicely. Updating the theme so we can see it in the front end. And there we go. So, the next thing that I want to do is, for the moment, I actually don't want to have any social networking icons showing. So the trick to that, you have this uh, section here, add social icons. Now if you want to replace the icons, it's very easy, you just click the upload button, you add in your new image, you can add in your social, icon, uh, social networking links, and you can also change the little message that uh, hovers that pops up when you hover over a social networking icon. But in this case I'm not planning on using any social networking icons in this particular theme so all I have to do is remove the very first image. So if the the website weaver sees that you don't have an image set as in the first uh, icon slot then it won't display all the rest of them so that makes it really easy to just disable that whole section. update the theme and so that clears that uh, social networking icon section out of the sidebar and so that you can see the color of the links that we just changed earlier I'm going to add a sidebar widget in just for the recent posts and now you can see that this layout is starting to come together In the next video, we're going to start rounding out the last of the color changes. So adjusting these post information boxes here, the color of those, which will also at the same time update the color of the pagination boxes. We're going to finish up the coloring of the footer widget area and the second footer down here. 
and from there I'm going to start showing you how to use these sections to add your content. Thanks!